Bam and hello, we are live on the internet. Is this the internet? I can't tell. I've gone mad and I've gone blind. I can't see anything. Oh no, oh no. But I'll get new glasses soon to fix that. <laughs> I don't know where I go with any of these. Hi, hello. Today I am joined by... I don't even know what to think about this. I'm trying to think of something smart to say about Leela and her player model, but like, all I can, all that come, uh, I've got nothing. I've got actually nothing. I've got actually nothing nice for once. Nice. That's new. That's new. <gasps> Treacle, hi. Welcome on in, my darling. How are you doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, welcome in Boxer Thank you for being with us. And uh, yeah, we're joined by Leela and uh, someone who I haven't seen in so long, and I'm so happy to have them back in. Efi. You have been freed from the clutches of the parasitic worm you call a child. How how and how is it? And for the horror of the doom room. And for the horror of the doom room, you're still currently sitting on a box. Correct me if I'm wrong, right? I am indeed sitting on a box. Uh, it's very bad for my back. Yesterday, my neck hurt all day because of sitting oh, on the box. Oh, sweetie, you need blurg. I Take need care of games. your. That's what I need. <laughs> no, you don't need video games. You need <laughs> self care. You need self care. Uh, no, I need video games, or I'm gonna go. For absolutely mental and have another meltdown and have to sit in the back garden for an hour. Fair enough. I thought you were going to say have another baby and I was like, bad idea. <laughs> no, bad plan. It's only been 10 months since I squeezed out the last one. <laughs> jeez, jeez. I still remember how you did that right in the middle of Junorosity. It was so inconvenient, like honestly. I know, I woke up on my birthday giving birth and didn't even, well, in labour and didn't even get breakfast. Yeah, you didn't, yeah, I mean, who cares about breakfast? You needed to be there for my stream, damn <laughs> I was supposed oh, to get no, some no. Greg's first. Oh, that geez. Uh, I don't like Greg's. Um, <laughs> I can't even. I tried saying that sounds Greg's delicious, but no. Uh, but if Greg's you is order awful. their omelet roll with a sausage and bacon in it, it's so cheap and it gets delivered with no delivery fee. And when you're very poor, it's the ideal. Quick okay, okay. Breakfast. It's like the exploit gourmet. I I always love that kind of thing it's in trash. in like general trash. like. I'm in a split mind about like those kind of like secret menu orders because on one hand I love hearing people's like crazy combos to get nice food on the other hand I don't there's like a certain like type of person I guess generally associated with that sort of thing where it's like go ask the Starbucks people if they have candy canes in the middle of July to make you this special bollocks that's not a vibe wait if you Okay, okay. For reference, for reference. I I bought a drink in Deep Rock Galactic before these two arrived, and for some reason it spawned several ghost cups across the map, which I cannot see. Wait, are there more? Apparently, apparently. <laughs> I'm you're the one telling me this. I can't see. I do not have the gift of clarity that you guys okay. have. No, this is the one. This is the one. Um, okay, never mind, there's just the one. But yes, um just a very quick intro. We're gonna be playing some Deep Rock Galactic today. To those who are new or Hello? Did I fix it? Hello? Hello, is this the internet? Is this the internet? I'm genuinely not sure at this point. Things have gone from red to green, which I think is a good sign. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm glad to be back. Oh my god. So, today started off great. Today started off absolutely brilliant. I know, I'm, I'm back! I'm trying to get back! Hi! The ghost cups were apparently too powerful from what I'm hearing. The what was too powerful? The ghost cups, the power of the ghost cups were too much. They were too much. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, heck. Well, I will be booting up Deep Rock Galactic, but um, when I launched the stream, I did say there was a special announcement. I was not lying. Do you guys want to see something while I'll get back in? I've got something super, super cool to share. Are you even sure if there's no drunk at some point in the stream? I'd say not. You're not the first streamer when you get your first follower or your reach affiliate or partner or whatever. You first reach streamer, in my humble opinion, when you stream for half an hour with your mic off without out realizing. <laughs> oh, I've but definitely done that a few times. <laughs> the, other day, the other day, I played about an hour of a game, and then Six was in the chat all the time. Then he says, by the way, there's no sound from the game. I'm like, <laughs> you've been here all this time, and now only you're telling me. <laughs> I, I, can, I can do even better. When I was doing my Halloween little game, okay, okay, I completed an entire game without switching to the game screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay, but here, long game. Jeez. Okay. Anyway, anyway. Okay. So here is what I wanted to show. Here is the beauty. Now, some of you oh, might remember. Geez, I haven't got the Wi-Fi to watch your stream. Uh, give me a sec. Like, I'll I'll open my camera back again. My camera's open on Discord. It's, it's, it's not working for me. Hang on. The pet pack. Hi, welcome oh, on in. I don't think I've seen you around here, or at least not, not around here recently. How are you doing, my friend? We love bats. We love stuff. Never mind. You have been following for a while since December. Well, I've it's you come here thing. to see something fucking amazing. Now, some of you might remember the absolute insanity that happened. I think it was last Sunday. I want to say I was tired. Out of my mind, tired was so close to not even hitting the go live button, but I decided to take the plunge, play some Overwatch, had an amazing time. And then, uh, yes, that is a Beholder poster behind me. That is one I got from Displate um, as a birthday present, I think. Like, I got a coupon. It just missing. It was super cool. It was super cool. Yeah, it's actually the, it's a metal poster of pretty much the Dungeon Master's Guide Alternative Coven. Massive fun. And D&D, but yes, last Saturday, played some Overwatch, and, um, I have a throne, it doesn't get much traffic, I'm okay with that, it's just there as an option. And, um, I filled it with some fun stuff, some crazy stuff. One of which was an 150 centimeter, 1.5 meter long, pink whale shark plushie. Now, veterans of the channel will know that Nebel is an insane bastard, and we love him so much. <laughs> He is easily our biggest contributor when it comes to things like our fundraising and channel events, and he put it on there as a joke, so, uh, I think this is it. For those who can't tell, this is vacuum packed. It is, give me a second, let me close the knife. This is vacuum packed. This is about two and a half kilograms, I believe it's total weight. It is heavy. It is content. Like, this is a punching bag worth. It is so dense. I'm genuinely worried when I, like, cut this... Uh, this tape away, it's going to balloon out in my face. Like, it is tense. It is tense. Like, you know, like this, you could play it like a banjo guitar. It's tense. I really want it to just, like, spring open above you like in an anime and then crush you. <laughs> <laughs> you want it to crush me? That's kind of menacing. Yep. Yeah, as mean, it's a plushie, right? So it wouldn't really hurt you, but I want... I want it's it still to two kilograms worth of plushie. Uh, okay. Now, as always, follow knife safety, cut away from yourself. Never cut towards yourself. Oh, jeez. <laughs> just point it at this... No! Stop! Bad! Do not take advice. I... Your glasses. Do not... <laughs> fer... your pupil. Nope. Do not take advice from the fairy dwarf, father. Uh, get two and a half kilograms worth of plushie. It is condensed and dense. For reference, for reference. Give me a second. Before I finish opening it. Um... Where are you? Here we go. This is George. George is my biggest plushie so, so far. He is a blowhide, which is, you know, the Ikea. Yeah, plushie, very famous, very trans icon, cute, follow followed by Bruce and other things. Like, even then, like, you need some love, he needs more stuffing, I'm gonna learn how to sew just for him. This should blow him out of the water. He's about, I want to say, 80 centimeters long or so? He's big. This should blow him out the water. That's my height. This is like twice his size. This is, I think, is bigger than some of my small friends. Wait, how long did you say this one is? One and a half meters. Oh, so it's like ten centimeters shorter than me. 
Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh god. It's reaching Actually, a point of... 18, 18 centimeters shorter than me. I am, I am exactly 160 centimeters. I am mini. I'm 168. Oh. Saying it's so easy. Nice. Just get some meals and Fred look up your toy. Yee! Like my mama's so O's and stuff. I, I almost learned to sew what early. I almost learned to have to knit and stuff as well. But I started with a scarf um, and got bored. And so that's how that ended. So I think one of the important things about knitting is you need to remember that you're not really knitting until the end of the month. You're knitting for the fun of knitting. And if, if you fuck it up, fine, fine, just take it apart and start again. You're knitting for the zen of it and for the skill, not mm. for the scarf. Yeah, I think that's why I couldn't get into it. I, I just as a person, even in my hobbies and stuff, I'm very goal orientated. The reason, like, say we want about things like season it passes or, I know, but like, I need a goal to use as a background for my fun, I guess. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I get what you mean. The only reason I leave the house is because I've trained myself to always get myself a treat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's that kind of thing. Like, I find it really tough to go on a walk without like having a valid option behind it, stuff like that. Like, yeah, and the reason I love things like battle passes is because it's fun, but it's like, fun, here is your objective, here is the thing you can reach, here's the time limit you need to reach it in, you know? Mm. That's, that's what I prefer about uh, things like that too, in general, like if you've got some goal you've got to reach, and you've got to find it. It's usually a lot more fun. Yeah. Like, when I, was, when I was ill all that time ago, well, not all that time ago, it was like six months ago, Oh god, here we go. Here's where it's gonna become a pain. Um, like, one thing that got me through it was the, um, like, Destiny, it was Destiny 2. I became so obsessed because I didn't buy, I didn't have any of the DLCs for the game. But I could spend, because I was broke at the time, and still am now, and yet now I have the DLCs, so yay me, progression. Um, was the, what's it called? Just the season pass, the pirate season pass. And I spent, I think, literally about 12 hours a day, dawn till dusk, just playing it because... I was ill and I could focus. Oh my god, this looks so pretty! Like, you could just see its pink flesh barely pushing out. Ooh, have uh, we played Skyrim yet? I have played Skyrim! I was literally playing some modded Skyrim earlier today. I got super- I got back into it lately with a bunch of mods. I'm playing as an Imperial Dunma, and I'm having a very- like, Imperial-focused Dunma, and having a lot of fun. Have you guys played Skyrim? Like, Leela, Efi. Okay, so the problem with me is uh, I start the game, fall down the rabbit hole that is modding, and then I never continue. <laughs> Mood. Oh, no. Have I not told you about what I did to Skyrim? Argonians, I love Argonians. Argonian was my race I always played as a child, because like um, I like I always played I get only as a kid because I didn't start off with Skyrim. Like even though Skyrim was out at the time, I didn't have it personally. So I started out with the predecessor game Morrowind, which my brother had. And oh my god, guys, it's... Oh, that's the pre-predecessor game. Yeah, that's... So, so yeah, I started with Mo Orwind, then move, which I couldn't get anywhere with. Then I moved to Oblivion, <laughs> which I could get somewhere with. So I was gifted both. Yeah, I, I played Skyrim and hoarded so much crap that the game stopped working on my PlayStation 4, would not uninstall, would not reinstall, and is completely unplayable forevermore. And my PlayStation 4 is just like, no more guys, Skyrim for you! Guys, it is being birthed. Look at the... <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm experiencing <laughs> flashbacks to my own traumatic squeezing out of a child. Oh my god, you'll see from- it's, I found its eyeball. I found its eyeball in the gills. <laughs> 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 look, it is- it's not even properly out of its containment yet, but look at it! <laughs> I, I, oh I, my I, god! That. The, the visual texture of that makes my throat hurt. I don't like it. Yeah, it is. Oh, as of being vacuum packed. Oh god, how do I even? I'm gonna have to reseal this. Oh my god, it, it is expanding. It is expanding. It's growing. It's growing. <laughs> it is literally growing before our eyes. Like. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs>
Hey, <laughs> hey guys, how you do? It's so big. It's so big oh that this, it, the mouth is hollow. It's eaten my arm. Um. Climb into the whale. <laughs> Well, if you insist. <laughs> if you insist, just get up. <laughs> oh my god, you can wear it like a hat! Oh no! Oh, connection to server lost. Yes. Oh my god, the bat bat back. Great minds. <laughs> Are you ready to game? I can't see a thing! I can't see a single thing! <laughs> there we go! I can see! I can see! Oh god! <laughs> It's really heavy. <laughs> it looks heavy. It's two it kilograms. Like, Holy it shit. It looks like it's heavy, but also <laughs> at such an angle that your head is constantly holding up forwards as well as up. Yeah, up. yeah. Okay, okay. This is a bit, but... <laughs> hey, guy. I think I would dislocate myself. <laughs> Dare you to do the rest of the stream like this. I don't... <laughs> I am... This is uncomfortable. I can't. I can't. Oh, it's literally, what, what it's is slowly... It going to be called? Um, I actually don't know, because the original name I had for it was Jawbreaker, because I thought, it's giant, it's big, it has like a fun... Oh crap, it's literally knocking stuff off my desk now. Oh god, okay, let's let's get it down, let's get it down. I'm, I'm sorry, Backpack, but... God, I have sanity limits. God. <laughs> I love it. Are you going to keep all of your smaller sharks inside its mouth? Play uh, one round of Val Overwatch, whatever got You know what, fuck it. I'll try and do- we'll try and do a round of Deep Rock Galactic with that on my head, okay? That's what we'll do, just for you, just for you. God, is it actually bigger? I'm not sure it can fit all of them in there. Like, it's- It's about elbow deep on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jesus Kevin. Christ. What is this, when, how, this is a whale shark. The most beautiful plushie ever made, though. God, it's literally, if I lay it down, if I lay it down, like, my feet are on a chair, it's literally, fuck, it comes up to just, when did I get a sword next to my name? Or gold? Um, I don't know. Uh, the little bits on it. Oh, those are like I'm not sure. They're kind of like silver, golden bits. There's also oh, there's such a cute look at it. Like on its like spout. It's like a crown, right? Out. Oh, no, oh, no, it's water. It's like a cute little spout pattern. That's so adorable. <laughs> also, I don't know when you got mo Odd Hattie. You deserve it though. Look at this cutie. He's got little button eyes as well, and a big mouth. <laughs> a big mouth. <laughs> God, I. Junior's muted. Junior's yeah, muted. June unplugged. Uh, this is why. This is why I need to get my microphone sorted because oh boy, like oh yeah, and my camera sorted apparently. Hattie? I also want it in in teal. It's Hattie. It's Hattie's melodies. Yeah, webcam uh, thinks I think it's fully died now. Yeah, I think your webcam's died too. Also, I, I've been disconnected from your deep rock game. Oh yeah, that's because, like, it crashed, remember when my internet crashed? Oh, and I only just got kicked from it, jeez. Oh, Shrugged. your webcam's back for me. There we go, had to restart it. It is so big. This was like, I mean, it was quite expensive. It was like £120 or something crazy like that. Weirdly, it's arrived. The, like, mask, the, like, sanding respirator safety mask off Amazon, that still hasn't shown up yet. Oh dear. Oh, but Sunday, June, I want to show you my supremely ugly tiger stuffy that me and my mum made when I was a toddler. Oh, that's actually really cute though. Give me a second, it's I want it. So ugly. <laughs> let's see, uh, let's see. Let's see how many other sharks we can stuff in this. This is Sephira. Yep, yep. Mm. <laughs> Sephira's been eaten. <laughs> uh, what shop did I get this from? Um, I got this from Throne. Um, I think it's from a store called something similar to Little Asian Treats, but I'm not sure. Let me get you the exact name for it. Why am I finished? Because we wanted to see how many sharks it could hold. It's like um, it's like the Finding Nemo scene. It's not eating the shark. It's like the Finding Nemo scene where the whale helps Gloria and um, not even Gloria, <laughs> Gloria the hippo from Madagascar. Uh, no, um. Ellen DeGeneres. Dory, that was it. Dory and Marlin. Ellen DeGeneres? Yes! Oh. Also, yeah, it's a different species. It's like like a chimpanzee eating a, eating a gorilla. I just had one of my partner's eyelashes in my eye. Ew. 
I know it's my partner's because it's like twice as long as mine. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm not sure. Where is Sammy right now? I genuinely don't know where Sammy is. Uh, I'll, I'll find Sammy like once the stream is sorted. My room is in a bit of a mess because we are planning on moving. We are sorting it. Anyway, it has been 25 minutes. Still 20 minutes better than that. And then... Uh, an Abbey stream. You're ready to actually get into some Deep Rock Galactic. My, no, my bum is going numb on the box, I have to say. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Do, maybe you... I can find a cushion, hang on. Yeah, I was about to suggest, maybe grab a cushion uh, or something similar? Have you seen this room? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I mean, it does seem like hell. It does seem like hell. But yeah, as always, if something needs to say, like the music needs changing or the game needs sorting, just let me know. Just let me know. And I will endeavor to fix it. But yes, Deep Rock Galactic, dwarves in mine in space. Oh, crap. <laughs> it's so big. Like, I know I've said this before, but fuck, for reference, for reference, shall we? This was my, when I got this plushie, I thought it was huge. Now compare. <laughs> compare. That's <laughs> big. Oh yeah, so you know, you know Ikea's got like a new range of like watery themed stuffies. Yes, I've seen them. And they've also got the Ikea back, but it's like half the size. Have you seen, have you seen, have you seen the big, the big yellowy orange octopus? Yes, I have. Oh, it's so cute. I've got... I figure if, if Blowhai can be like the, the trans femme icon, then the, the, the octopus can be like the non-binary Yeah, icon. it's like a blue ring kind of octopus, which are deadly. And I actually have one at home. Like, this is my oh, little no, that's book. That's not the one. That's not the one that I got. I, I know, I know. I've got the same species. This isn't the same type. This is from oh. my local aquarium. Oh. Yep. And you may notice, if you have a look, all, basically all of my plushies are in my emotes. At least the ones that were there at the time. For example, uh -oh. this little guy is in my raid. The, the triple turtles I have stacked on my shelf behind the curtain. Um, They are, like, in the thing. The blue octopus on my head for the yikes emoji. OG, um, and of course, Blo- Oh, hi. And George. We love George. We love them so much. So much. <laughs> like, genuinely- <laughs> I keep re getting reminded there's this- Two kilogram- There we go. Oh, God. I keep getting reminded this two kilogram shark is laying on me, because every time, like, I'll, like- try and put myself into a proper gamer position or squeeze it up like like I do when I'm trying to like game with um like George or Bruce on my lap like I get physical resistance it feels like I'm doing a workout mm, squeeze into it <laughs> it genuinely gives that much resistance I feel I, I hate to say this it feels a bit uncomfortable with just it's more staring into me <laughs> I feel like I could use this as a- give me a second, I think I could use this as a cup holder, like... If I had a straw now... <laughs> Where did you get this beard, by the way, June, because I need it? Uh, which beard? Um, let me just check what my character is. The green one with the gems. Uh, the green is the colour scheme, uh, ba 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 the hair colour emerald. Um, and the beard is Savage Full Gilded. Um, Where did you I think it? it was a, um, what's it called? Snap Fingers several times. Um, Forge, um, Matrix Core Cosmetic. Oh, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All the coolest emotes are. I hate it. <laughs> well, do you know, there's a way we can get you that kind of stuff if you're interested. I need that beard. I need it. I need it for all of my characters, even though I only play Scout all the time. <laughs> Fuck's <constantly>. sake. Fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, why are you also, like Also, green's my thing. Look at me. Green is your thing. Green is your color. And this is a better green. This is just a better green than default stuff. It's a much nicer green. And and the beard would look it's so much, nice with my hat. Oh, that would be a good one. Okay, are y'all ready to actually pop into Skyrim's depths? Uh, Not even yes, Skyrim's depths. Hox is four. Well, I'm tired. Okay, I'm. If we have got a scout, I'm gonna switch to the engineer. I think. My favorite Daedric artifact in Skyrim. Yes, I was just about to get around to that. Is, um, oh, what's that cheese called? The shivering, the shivering cheese. The shivering. You mean Shale Gorath? Oh, what? Oh, it comes from the. Uh, uh, it comes from the. Shivering the, Isles. The, uh, Realm of Sheogora? 
God of the Madness? crazy cheese guy. Yeah. Yeah, Shale Gorath, God of Mad play, Madness. Yeah. Cheese! When cheese for everyone! Online, I gather every single cheese I find in honor of Shale Gorath. God damn it, god damn it. So much cheese. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure what my favorite da Adrian artifact is. Um, okay, I'm not sure if this counts, but um, the. Uh, what were they called in Oblivion? The stones that were used to in. Who's for the Oblivion Gates, and you could, like, go in and grab them. Um, and use them to upgrade your gear. I'm not sure that counts. Counts, um... They're useful. I mean, they're technically dangerous, but if we're talking, like, the classic artifacts, I probably have to say, and this is gonna be an unpopular one, Azura Star? Just because I actually really like Azura. Azura is, like, um, like, one of the mods I play with, right? One of the mods I... And I said Skyrim, not Oblivion. Okay, fair. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I just thought you meant Elder Scroll in general. Yeah, I'm gonna go with oh with Azura Star just because it's not that useful as a thing, but I often play mages, so and I like enchanting, so I'll gra have that stuff. Um, but no, the reason I go with like all that stuff is because Azura is my favorite of like all of the deities like of that setting, all of the Aedra and Daedra. This is gonna make no sense to people who haven't. Okay, for reference, um, the divines in. Skyrim, like, okay, there are gods in Skyrim, and they're mainly split up into two categories, Aedra and Daedra. Um, there's lore reason why they're skipped into that, but if we get into Deep Elder Scrolls, the lore will be here all fucking day. We'll be here all day. Um, but yeah, pretty much Aedra are usually more good-natured, um, Daedra are generally more bad-natured, but it's, like, a lot of shades of grey in a lot of cases, unless it's, like, more like Baal or someone, he's just a prick. Um... <laughs> But yeah, Azura, um, done my god of mad magic. Every time I play Skyrim, I play with a mod called Winter Sun, which pretty much changes religion to be more impactful. Like, you could actually pray to a deity and get unique benefits depending on which deity you go to. That's not like just an eight hour buffer, a shrine you'll never visit. Like, you have to actually build favor with that deity, follow their, like, tenets. For example, my latest one, I am a worshiper of Akatosh. For that, I mean that it means pretty much go do Dragon Ball on stuff, don't. I don't disobey the law, and I get bonuses for that. And yeah, TLDR, Azura Star, because I'm a fucking law nerd. No, Shugorath is everything, and you should love the cheese. All of the cheese. Gather the cheese. <laughs> I'm actually... Cheese for our lord. I'm gonna actually have to grab... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this looks vaguely wrong. <laughs> Help me! Help! <laughs> Back in there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sometimes I wish I could do that with my baby. Oh god! Oh, god damn. I'm just so tired of looking after them. Just go back in for a while. <laughs> you were quiet in there, and I got more sleep. Jesus Christ! Okay, okay. Um, I wake up every two hours, June. You don't understand. I don't. I don't. Okay. Anyway, um, I, in the assignment board, let's go. Let's go to the assignment board real quick. What what um thing do we have have next for you? Um, what's like people's quest people are on? I'm doing Plagueful oh. still. Okay. I'm kind of Plagueful, so I'm okay to help with Plagueful. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't actually show that you have any quests on here that I can see, Leela. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't got any assignment currently. Oh, uh, yeah, pick up the Plagueful because... assignment and then we'll go through that together. I think... No, I, think... I, I finished it. It's oh, fun. okay then. Then yet. Done. Okay, well in that case, let's just go finish Efees. Let's just go finish Efees then. Uh, yeah, we have a Lithophage Outbreak Mining Expedition. Mokai and Gunseeds. I, I, I hate it so much. I hate the Lithophage. I hate it. It's disgusting. It it makes me want to just not exist. Do a whack up a jack only run in one stream, one Skyrim. God, that would be. What would I even be? I mean, I'm not opposed to actually doing some more Skyrim teams. I think I tried one a long, long time ago. Like, a, this would be, like... Because, again, I tend to split my experience of streaming in two parts. The largely started... I want... Was it December of this year or December of last year? I want to say... Alert. Alert. The baby has been put to bed successfully. Hell yeah. Um... Pretty much, I split into two parts, where one of which I pretty much before oh. and after I got a consistent schedule and properly mm. fell in love with it. Can you need a couple? Yeah, it was like, yeah, not December last year, December, yeah, December before that, 
um, where pretty much I streamed for a long time, I, but I never really got anywhere with it, I wasn't really having fun with it, my streaming schedule was super inconsistent, and I didn't know the type of content I wanted to create. Then I kind of for, got into the kind of groove of like this format where it's usually me playing like multiplayer games with a lot of friends or making it a community night so I can have conversation in the Discord and stuff like that. I'm pretty much falling in love with that kind of side of viewing and that's where I vibe. But yeah, before that, I think I tried a, a couple Skyrim streams. There was also a couple Fallout 4 streams. Namely, I tried to beat Fallout 4 as a pirate. I think, don't even think I was trying to beat it. I think I was just trying to be as piratey as possible. Yeah, I might be inclined trying to do um. like... Oh crap, I have four, Fallout 4 is eight years old. God, don't remind me. Don't remind me. Uh, I, I want a new Fallout or Skyrim game or something. But I also want it to be good, Todd. Can you do that for me, Todd? Please. Please. I'm so old. You really are. You. I mean, I'm, I'm getting up there. I'm 20. I'm double digits. There's a two in front of my name now. How the hell do you think I think about that? I'm four years away from 40. Yeah, I, I don't know how you how you keep living this long, honestly, like... Me either, especially <laughs> the small baby, like, I've, I've considered walking into the sea. No! Do not go walk into the sea, it'll be cold. It's really hard to get enough lead to make the trousers, to be honest. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, but do you know what? Do you know how I know how I'm getting older? Do you know how I know I'm actually getting older? It isn't anything to do with the number on my age. It isn't, like, the letters I've been getting through the post about, like, me apparently having a bond worth 80 quid or something that I need to figure out what the fuck to do with. It isn't anything like that. Do you want to know what is the true mark of me growing older? I'm watching The Hunt for Red October and I'm enjoying it, damn it. What is The Hunt for Red October again? It's like a kind of, like, military... Airy like movie that's old as balls. Um, oh yeah, I've I've um I've listened to the audio book <laughs> where it's like the Russians have the developed. Oh, there's a novelization of it. I can't remember. Yeah, it's like the Russians have developed a silent propulsion system yeah. in the Cold War. Yeah, I remember now. And I'm like, it's man, incredibly boring. <laughs> the movie's good, and I'm enjoying it. <laughs> okay, but the audiobook or the novelization of the movie is incredibly boring. The second got something to do? Absolutely. Like, to the extent that I, a man that cannot nap and never has been able to, could probably use it to fall asleep. Ha! <laughs> Exploit! Think big brain, think big brain. Do you will feel old when... And a new player just want to be a multiplayer game session and the new players are baby grown up? <laughs> I mean, your baby, I it's going to be like... Because I talk about the original Fallout, and people are like, Oh, Fallout 3! And I'm like, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fallout, Fallout 1, weirdly, has been making its way back into my mind. Like, the reason I got, kind of, finally reinstalled Skyrim and all my mods and stuff, and got around to that, was I was getting really into, like, Fallout, like, and, Fall and Skyrim content. It kept popping up on my dash again. Like, namely, I keep getting a series of Fallout shorts which shows, like, just weird hidden things in the earlier games, like Fallout 1, as well as stuff in, like, New Vegas, like, unique dialogue choices. Oh, crap, what's going on? Ah! Got a thing falling down. Rocks! Yeah, thing's falling down. Hmm, also, it. um, we might want to deal with that. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I don't find the Rockbox Patrons that bad to deal with. Like, I do find it kind of... I, I just think... They disgust me. I know, but like, they've, they're weak... They've literally got giant glowing weak points, you know? They've got giant... Disgusting. Giant glowing weak points. I know, but they're just not that difficult to deal with on a... Gr and scale. Like, I love how James grabs like a... I like the jizzy guns, it's true. Like, um... Uh, don't call them jizz guns, please. Please. <laughs> yeah. Just stop. Okay, the, uh, the sudsy guns. Okay, I can take the suds guns. I can take- I can imagine the dwarves doing- God, that's a mental image. Imagining the dwarves doing, like, a, um, car wash image, dressed in their, like, medical gowns. T-shirts. <laughs> yeah, that kind of stuff. I want to see dwarf tits. Just the naked hairy chest, you know, the standard. Yeah, I'm into that. <laughs> that would that would be fun, that would be fun. When are you adding that, Ghost Fire Games, huh? I know you watch specifically my streams, so, you know, when is it? God, I'm actually gonna have to get back up there, gonna platform my way up. I love engineering, just in general games. 
Fallout keeps getting showed up by the fan community, they get nothing much while fans keep bro Fallout London, Fallout Miami. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Huh. Like, have you guys heard about Fallout out? Um, London in particular, I'm quite excited for, because didn't they make like a couple big announcements to that recently? Or am I going nuts? Or do you guys not know what I'm talking about? I have no idea. I haven't, I haven't heard about it. Okay, pretty much. There are several massive like fan projects, which there have always been for like games like this. For example, there's Sky Oblivion, the plan to put all of yeah. like yeah. Oblivion into Skyrim. There's. I know about that. Yeah, well, and pretty much there's one of those, those type of projects called Fallout London Fallout Miami, which is pretty much fan-made games set in, like, London and Miami. And, yeah, they've recently had a couple big, like, announcement things. Yeah, I, I still find it, find it funny how, like... And it's kind of obvious when you could see look into it and, like, you oh. see it more deeply. Like, Fallout 4, I like it, I enjoy it, I enjoy modding it, but... It's not as good as Fallout New Vegas. It doesn't have the f the Fallout Genesis quite. It's a good shooting game, but it's not a good Fallout game. Your and but there's moments where you can see how much it could have been. You know, there's moments where you see like, especially in uh, things like um, Far Harbor, where the dialogue options actually matter. I know, crazy, right? Like the writing is really well done. Like, and it gets crit with stuff like that like the plot is like feels very fallout it's got that kind of mix of craziness sadness sadness and just good evocative writing I think and uh, you can see presence for that when you go back for the earlier game you can see like skill checks which the earlier things had they put they, they appear in one mission I know one mission exactly which is the um, one where you send uh, like droid piloted old naval ship into a skyscraper like again very fallout quest again very fallout ending the rest of it feels kind of like people building a fallout game who have read the wiki for fallout but never played it like it's got all the base ingredients it's got the brotherhood of steel it has super mutants and robots but it just it's missing it's missing something, you know? But yeah, TLDR, Fallout community doesn't give much, and YouTube actively demonetizes Fallout and Skyrim content these days because, you know, excessive blood and gore! Hey. Uh, Leela, there's, there's red sugar here if you want health. And yeah, community has been giving so much out, so much out. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get rid of the things that's trying to murder me. I'm coming. Fair. Fair and fair. I do kind of want to play like a Skyrim or like just um, that kind of like that setting based okay, TTRPG one thing. day. Oh, Mocha. Have we? Because I haven't really been on top of this. Someone in chat might be able to say or you might be able to say. Has anyone been keeping track of like the latest Elder Scrolls game, Elder Scrolls 6? Or do we know still absolutely bugger all about that? Molly, over here. I don't know nothing about it. Because I remember uh, we got a title that make people think... Think it was going to be set in Valenwood, because yeah, the general vibe uh, with Elder Scrolls game is each game it's a new promise. There was some info about what it is about, but I can't remember what it. Fair. I'm gonna. Uh, I'll Google after this mission. Yeah. Like, because I'm pretty sure people are thinking it's going to be set in Valenwood. Because the thing with um, it's been Elder Scrolls is like in the very first game you could explore the entire world. The world was flat and shit, but you could explore it all, and so like, we kind of know. There's like a limited amount of places where things are going to be set, if that makes sense. Yeah. And pretty much the two main contenders are Valinwood, which is where the Bosma, where the Wood Elves are from, or the Black Marshes, which are where the Agonians are from. One is Wood Elf oh Land, gosh. which even with their cannibalistic flavor, it's like, okay, Wood Elf, sure, whatever. And that's the one they're going with. Or you could have the Black Marsh, where there'll be like fly swarms that eat your nose. Fast travel is being eaten by, like, a worm. There are giant fucking, like, what's it called? Sentient trees that control the population. Their government is trees. Like, it's just fucking cool. It's just cooler, okay? I'm a basic bitch and I want my tree swamp badass society. No, I'm into that. 
Like you could have like. I, I, I love the wood elves being like dedicated meat eaters because they love the trees. That's the kind of shit yeah. I used to come up with when I was a teenager, and I'm like, mm, yeah. yeah, that's cool. We <laughs> respect and love there. nature. So, oh, you let me guess, you're vegetarians? No, we only eat people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I do love that. I do love that. Some of, again, some of the earlier lore in the series is still kind of yikes. Yikes, but like, I think it's very unique as fantasy settings generally go. Like, so many fantasy settings borrow from Tolkien and like, live in that shadow, and that's okay. Like, and I'm not saying Skyrim doesn't with its dwarves and elves and all that stuff. But like, at least it does it more uniquely, I'd like to say. Like, it's got a unique kind of, like, flavor and spin. Do you get where I'm going with this? Yeah. Fair, oh, fair. Explosion. Shit, that's a hole. Guys, I fell down a hole. I'm not sure I want to come back. Can I... Did you put a whale at the bottom of it? A well? A whale? No, why would I... Why would I put a whale at the bottom of a hole? I am also in a hole. Oh, hey. <laughs> you fell down the same hole. Well, I got knocked down it. Don't you mean whale you got knocked down it? Big, juicy boy. Oh, leave me alone. I don't like you. See, we got it. We got it. Perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced. Okay. Okay, okay. okay God. We've explored a good chunk of the map. We need to find the next way down, though. Like, I'm not sure if you can see if you check the minimap that flint. Ain't gold spec, which means there's a collectible down there, but like, geez, that's a l gonna be a long way down. There's a thing up here, I'm trying to kill it. I think it worked, you wanna ping it? Uh, there's a. It's running away, why? Oh, is it a. No, there you go, Praetorian, it was over there. Ah, uh, okay, I thought you were talking about the big loot bug. What are they called, a Hooli Hoarder? No. Oh, I love them. I love fully hoarders. Just the way they like and like jiggle around. I find it really funny. <laughs> I always feel kind of bad, but like, don't eat precious minerals. It'll get you killed. It's the dwarf way, rock and stone. God, where is actually the way down? This is where we came up. It's here. It's where? Sorry. It's here. Mm, no way. I keep forgetting I don't have hover boots enabled. No, this isn't it. This is some explosions. Yeah, yeah. hang on. It's this. I think. I swear I went down Can here. I check my map again? No, that well, circle's around. This is the around. only down I see. Yeah, like, maybe there was something down here I missed when I went for it the first time? What if the next game is the Masters and your main net in squad slash quest character is the Lusty Argonian maid herself? Oh my god, that'd be so good. <laughs> I mean, that would be fucking amazing. I, I've I do... been collecting the Lusty Argonian books on Elder Scrolls Online, <laughs> along with my cheese collection. Yeah, but like, aren't there, isn't that like so long of a story? Isn't it like a stage play that's five acts long? That's like ten hours of just like pure sexual innuendo. Something absolutely ridiculous like that. Uh, wait, hang on, there's a green thing. What's the green thing? Oh, it's Molly, isn't it? Maybe? It could be also a gem. What are you looking at? Oh, on the minimap, yeah, that's Molly. Where is the way down? I don't know. Oh, I see it. I see it. There's a slight indent on the wall over here. If I, I will bet you a round at the cantina. I will bet you a round at the cantina that that's where we need to go. Can you mark it? Booyah. Now you guys have to buy me one because that's how this works, right? <laughs> you, I don't care if you didn't agree to the bet or whatever. Ah, uh, it's gonna be great. I, I do hate to say it, but Moon, I love you, my friend, but you oh, do moon. really- Hello, moon. You do- yeah, that's how I've been talking to in chat, along with Bat and our wonderful friend Treacle and stuff. And yeet. Um, but the Lusty Yorkonian mode is a- is a fictional character. Uh, oh boy. I made a platform for you. You missed it. Uh, I missed it, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna go the long way. I'm down this here. Thing? I'm, I'm gonna go- yeah, she is! I mean, I'm sure there's many real-life characters who have been inspired by her deeds, but like... Has I'm anyone found out. any nitra? Because I'm out of bullets. 
Oh, uh, I've got a couple yeah, on me, but only a little bit. I've mostly been like grabbing and depositing. I'm also out of grenades. Ooh, this is a um, this is quite dangerous, but it's also very possible to do if you would like to. I would like bullets. You'll be fine. We'll need more bullets. We'll need more bullets. I can say that much. If we want to tackle this, I'm we're going to need more bullets. Um, I'm dead. <laughs> wait, what? How did people die? I cleaned if I fall down here, I'm gonna die. Oh, I thought you yeah. were talking about like fighting this like boss. No, no, no. You'll be fine. Where's Molly? Um, Did Molly is. Molly. Remember, you can tap control to see where people are. Um, there we go. Oh yeah, we're gonna need more nitro. Okay, so this thing is an omen exterminator. Pretty much one of our first attempts to, as uh, like the company's attempts even, to tame Hoxies was yeah. by deploying these automated turret stations all over the planet. That didn't fucking work. Um, and so, oh, they went haywire and now we have to decommission them. That's what these are. They're basically mini boss fights, they'll give us rewards. Um, provide. Hey, can I get a platform here? Uh, where do you want a platform, sorry? Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. Oh, that's... Mm, I, I can manage. I could also put one higher up. Oh, yeah. Amazing, thanks. Now, we need more nitro. If we're going to tackle this, we will need more nitro. I'm surprised there hasn't been that much, to be fair. Oh, where's Molly gone? Yeah. I'm going to go hunt some, um, like, loot bugs around and feast on their gooey insides. Uh-huh. Oh, that's mean. I love them. You can pet them with E. Oh, God. Yeah, you can also squish no, them. No, with... leave me alone. Help. Oh, shit. Um, wait, what? What do you need help with? I don't have any bullets. Ow. You have a pickaxe, don't you? Are you dwarf or no? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a scout, though. I'm squishy. Yo, we all have the same exact health pool. Yeah. You know what squishy than the rest squishy. of us? <laughs> no! You're not squishy, you're just a coward. Dwarf okay. up. <laughs> oh god, okay. Oh, that's my HP again. Uh, okay, did you manage to find any more nitro, Leela? Uh, I found other stuff. Do you have any nitro currently, like, in your inventory that you can deposit? I just deposited everything in that was in my inventory. Nope, still need more then. Bugger. Here I found some lying on the floor. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of quick exploring to see if I can find any. Are you... Mm. Ah, perfect. Because, yeah, this is gonna be a tough fight. Not impossible, and the difficulty I think we have to set up, it's, own, it's not that high. But it's still something to be aware of, you know? Okay, so, come to me. And come to the Omen Modular Exterminator. Hang on, okay. I'm trying to knock some health down for Leela. Okie dokes. Because I, I think it would be difficult to get up here without grapples. Yeah, it will be. HP? Hell? Where? Um, there should be some up yes. from the it. ceiling. Thank you, thank you. Oh, crap, swarm incoming. Okay, I'm going to call the supply drop now. Just because oh, of oh. swarm's incoming. Oh, you've got enough for the supply, huh? Yeah, yeah, I got enough, I got enough. I'm going to activate the exterminator. Well, power it up somewhat. Now, this is basically a uh, Lego, Lego Tower of Doom, okay? It is made up of three segments, as you might be able to see. Watch out! Yeah, it's made up of three sections. When we activate it, those three sections will contain different modules, each of which will have to be individually destroyed, okay? Okay. Now, they'll be shielded. You disable their shields by standing on this platform, okay? Alright. Then that... Wait, hang on. What platform? These platforms. I can't see anything. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stand on these platforms, you'll expose... You'll expose... You'll expose green glowy things. Now, there is a somewhat cheat around this, okay? Leela, my friend. Huh? You are the driller. Do you have C4 yeah. remaining? Yeah. Chuck a C4 onto the tower. 
Over. There we go. Then we'll activate it once we have the shield down, and that'll help help us tremendously. Okay. All right. There we go. Now, has everyone got all the resources they need to? I took mm, some. Yeah. No. Okay, we'll go. I took some. Go refuel. I'm oh. gonna grab mine. Ify, do you wanna grab yours? And then we'll activate the exterminator. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on, I've forgotten where the thing is. It's right there. It's next to the sentry turret too. I'm here, thank you. Okay, okay, mm, are you ready? you guys have the patience for me to have a toilet break? Oh, there's a spitter. For me to have a toilet break? Uh, sure. Oh, there's some nitro. That's the first nitro I've bloody seen. One. Okay, go. Yeah, I'll I'll go to the toilet afterwards. Ooh. Yeah, we'll do this first, then you can have a bathroom break. We'll keep you protected and stuff. Okay, are you ready? You ready? I'm re uh, 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 I'm ready. Okay, so okay, don't activate the explosive the yet. Don't activate the explosive yet. Stand okay, on stand on the platform. Stand on the platform. I am. Yes. Okay, yo, um, Ify, move to the platform. Ify, move to the platform. You want to move that? I'm gonna. There's one more battery which needs to be inserted before we can blow this thing up. Okay. I'm just standing here. Okay, there we go. Stand steady, steady, steady. Yeah, be careful. Again, it will try and shoot you. Okay, blow it up, blow it up, blow it up. There we go. Then shoot at the green things with all you can. One segment at a time is how we're going to take this down. One segment at a time. Some segments are more deadly than others. I'm dead. Yep. I, it's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah. For example, the middle segment isn't that much of a worry. Um, focus on the top section because that can target us. Okay. I'm fully dead now. I'm also dead now. Uh oh. <laughs> It's okay. I'm fully dead. I'll come. I'll, I can get this. I can get this. There we go. One section down. One section down. Now I just need to stay away from that thing's eye. Yeah, once you've taken down one segment, it becomes significantly easier. The bottom segment is always the biggest pain in the ass. Because now we can play around its targeting eye thing of doom. Okay. Okay, so I... You go... There we go. Top eye thing done. Middle platform. All we need. Piece of cake. Okay. Yeah, that's why getting the initial strike with Driller... Helped us so much there, as you can see. Mm, yeah, I have done this before, and it usually takes like 15 minutes. It doesn't take 15 minutes, you're being dramatic. <laughs> it feels like it. I always need a wee when we start. Anyway, I don't actually have any cores. Um, Ify, do you have any? Uh, maybe. I don't. No, I don't have anything. Wait, did, no, didn't, did we just do this and none of us have the thing to claim the rewards? Apparently. That's a deep rock. Okay, fuck it. We're going deeper, lads. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, hang on. I knocked down another gunk seed, which is the last one we need. Where did it go? Is this... This isn't as deep... Oh, God. Where's the way we need to go down now? There's no... This isn't the lowest level. Uh, everyone look out for a dirt wall or something. Looking. Because this isn't the end of it. We need to go deeper. I don't, I don't want to, like, Balrog of Morgolf us here, but... Aha! Found it. Also found, found some night... Some, um... What, what do you call it? Um... Oil equivalent. Uh... Ba -ba -ba. More kite! That was it. More kite. More kite to last the night. Yeah, I'm going to do some exploring. Um, if you want to grab the last gunk seat we need, perfect. Done it. Why do you think they want gunk seeds? Because the rest of it I can assume is for evil company research, like alien eggs and stuff, sure. Fossil records, sure. But like, gunk seeds? Maybe they're full of gunk. What is the gunk used for? Skin co air products? Maybe it's a lubricant. Ah, uh, alien bug lube. You know, for the big drill. <laughs> um, which big drill? PG-15, remember. The, the one we used to get into the planet. Ah. <laughs> Drills require lube. So that's what... Sometimes they use water, <laughs> sometimes they use mineral enhanced stuff. Oh, that is an anti-gravity pit. <gasps> where, 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 where? 
I'm inside it. Yeah, as you can see, it's got reduced gravity within its effects. How did you... The, where the bloody... Oh. Are you okay? Hang on. If you're looking on with a lot of confusion, just... Hey. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. It's the anti-grab. It's not anti-grab so much as moon gravity, but yeah. Yay. Oh, uh, there's a pink thing down here. Oh, yeah. is there? Uh, oh, some pretty. Bitter, bitter gem. That just gives us some extra credits if you want to harvest that. I've got it. Hell yeah, then. That works for me. Okay, I... I call Molly again, I forgot. Um, C on keyboard, unless you've rebound it. C. Uh, some games you feel like you have to rebound Getting back stuff. out of here, for me, is quite uh, difficult. Uh, it's... A... Okay. I'm trying to knock health down again. Um... I'm, I might need a platform, let's see. I'll come back and rescue you if you need me to, okay? We could just dig an incredibly long spiral staircase. Can't you I just mean, grapple your way or jump your way out from between the leaves? I'm I using can. the leaves. I'm using the leaves. Like, I'm coming down here. Like, hi, I'm down there's here. Little, there's, there's a little bit of I health can... there. Like, hey guys. Like, Bye. a second, just jump up the sides. I never want to leave. I like the jump. noise. Fair, I guess. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah, it probably is possible to get out of here without, but I don't care, so I'm just gonna platform out. I I, could, I, I got out without the platform. Yeah, I just couldn't be buggered. <laughs> oh. It's okay, it's okay. Okay. With a Praetorian, so you know, keep that in mind. There you go. Perfection. Now this should be, is this, should be, if I'm right, this feels like the deepest bit of the map. It feels like the last bit of the map where all of the Morkite will be. Although maybe I'm wrong. I see some Morkite. Okay, never mind. There it all is. There it all is. Look at all those lovely McGubbins. We only need 20 left and then we can call the thing back. We've gotten all the objectives. We've gotten all the gunk. The drill is going to be lubed up for days. Molly is going to be very pleased. Mm, pretty flower. Mm, flower. Yes, I want to get more flowers. Me. I've I've actually been looking on because I want to give some flowers to Emma because yeah. For those who don't know, sorry to say that a week now I'll be in Germany. So that should be fun. I'm not sure how it's going to affect stream stuff, but I'll be in Germany. Are people ready to go home? No, uh, no. I found some gold. I won the gold. Uh, God damn it, dude! So obsessed with gold, you dwarf. Oh, swarming coming. Why hasn't the lady responded to me, June? Which lady? She messaged me at 9.30 a.m. Why hasn't she responded when I said yes, I'd be interested in an interview? Probably because... No, I know. She's probably got to actually arrange it with the guy. Yeah. He's probably gone through a big list of things, and you're not allowed to get back through the first client until you've finished finishing the messaging the last one and all that stuff. Mm. And there's a big list for this. Like literally every time, like I've done, I've done so many job locations recently. Because for those who don't know, I am job hunting. That's the vibe right now. That's the vibe we live with. But like genuinely, it feels like um, like I've currently got 50, I think, open and active applications going. Yeah. Honest indeed, and every time I see something like that, I see like, 80 people have also applied for this position. I'm just like, yeah, I'm not getting it. That's one we're just passing, Junebug. That's one I think we might miss today. I, I don't apply for jobs. I got headhunted, and I, I I feel like that's a good sign. I feel like it's a very I good think, sign. I think I'm about ready to start work again. Mm. Like, Vale's 10 months old now. Um, I'm tired of parenting them. <laughs> <laughs> Tired little I shit. Them. Any excuse to get out I of the house, them, eh? But I would like to sleep. Yeah, um, I get that. I get and, that. And not sit with them while they scream all day. Um, and working is a great excuse to not do those things. <laughs> cringe, cringe. And I'll be able to like take them to all of the cool stuff that I can't afford to take them to, which is going to be really cool. And I can save up. And and, and yeah, it's fine. We'll never be this poor again. Oh 
That would be nice. Capitalism is terrible. Okay, are you ready to escape? Because we're chilling here, but, like, the mule yeah, is gone. Sure. The mule's fucked off. Like, I feel like I should specify. We need to yeah, be getting yeah, out of here. We've got four and a half minutes. Yeah, but we don't really need to sit here and fight the bugs. We could just go. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. We could just go. <laughs> like, I believe we're faster than a bug, or at least I am. And if I am, you definitely are as our scout, you know? Are you not also a scout? No, I'm engineer! Oh, shit. God, where even is the way up? <laughs> How do we go home? No, wait. Follow Sorry, it's me and Leela down here. <laughs> wait, are you not following the bleep bloops? We Okay, now we're following the bleep bloops. Okay, Leela, okay. <laughs> I've, I've lost the bleep bloops. The bleep. Okay, follow the bleep bloops around um, Antigrav Junction, yeah, up yeah, the yeah, glowing hills. Alright, here we are. Um, it's a bit of an awkward bit just after that. Oh fuck! Why saying oh fuck? There were several explodey boys. Okay, now might we need to go up there? So don't go the way I went. Yeah, I nearly fell down a big hole just after Antigrav Junction. Bruh. Um, you have to go up, and then over like a route. Oh crap! Uh, crap! I've stuck myself. I got stuck. I got stuck. Leela, help! 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 I stuck myself on one of my on platforms. Okay. We got it, we got it. Okay. Follow me, Leela. Oh god, they've got a warden on them now. Bloody piss. I'm gonna fire drones at them. Come with me. Come with me if you want to live. It would be quite nice. Okay, but how far is the drop pod? Oh, 100 meters or so. Hell, if we get close enough, you can just drill. Uh, you guys, you, you guys are far ahead of me at the moment. Leela? I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming! Um, Taylor, what was the delay? Uh, maybe, maybe the Arconian mate is like Xena. I am at the drop pod, so, you know... I mean, it seemed to be mostly sexual innuendo. Out. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 actually, I interpret her as being more like, um... Like a legend, like, she just uses people to get what she wants and never actually does any sexy times. I'm pig- I just vision her as a sexy, strong lizard woman who could crush me with her tail. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, <laughs> all the books uh, are portrayed as if she's, like, sleeping with people to get favours, but I don't think she ever actually has to. I think people just, like, think she does. She just fools them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I have to ask, I have to ask. This is gonna be the question, everyone's fought it, but it's still taboo for me to kind of say it. What the fuck is the deal with lizard, human, fucking... Why did the Argonians have titties? Who knows? They're venom sacks. They're not titties. I don't know. Like, What's, are they venom sacks? Isn't that a meme, though? I it, don't know. I, isn't the meme like that they're like that they are like flat as a board, like I am? No. Um, and they just store like their eggs in there or snacks. I like that idea. That's hot. <laughs> no, like they're flat as a board, and they like literally have eggs like tied oh, in with wow. an like an egg harness. Like Look a kind of like a baby carrier. What we got for that? Damn, damn, Daniel! Holy guacamole! Eleven thousand four hundred twenty-four. Yeah, that was a big mission. Juicy. Look at that, and only one point six k experience. <laughs> uh, one point nine. We're closer uh, like to two k. Whatever, whatever. Ah, uh, booyah! Yeah, I don't think she's reptilian Xena. I think she's like a like a much more successful James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> Like, James Ward actually does have to sleep with people to get what he wants. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will say, I will say, do you guys actually want to check out the, um, I'll share it to Discord, what we've gotten for the Season 4 trailer in this, because it's really cryptic, and I wonder if you guys could spot anything that I may have missed. That's why... I only have one more assignment to do for this bloody plague fall. Okay, well, we'll, we'll do that, we'll do that. I just really want to show you this first. Yeah, Season yeah, Season 4, Deep Rock. Although I, I do I do need a wee break. Okay, yeah, you you go for a wee break again. This will be yeah. We'll show this on the wee break. It's literally about thirty seconds of weird footage that I've got like just no clue about. Hmm. I I genuinely don't know. <gasps> Kira, hi. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm just I'm about to share. I'm about to share. Uh, but f like Kira, hi! Look, look what I got! I got a 
a giant whale shark, Kira! It's so fucking big! It's so big, it dwarfs me, Kira! There's a shark inside of it, Kira! Oh, how have you been? Oh, look at my boy. Look at my baby boy. He's a good boy and I love him very much. Oh, he's so cute. He, oh god. Honestly, if I, if I quit streaming tomorrow, which I'm unlikely to do, let's be honest, I'll be able to have this baby with me for the rest of my life. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him for the rest of my life, but I'll have him. Uh, but yes, yes, let me stream this so you can see the vibe. Here we go. Yeah, again, when it says teaser, it means teaser. I've, I've gotten nothing for it. Maybe stuff will make context in future. But here is all we have for now. Give me a second. Let me turn... Let me pause the music for a second. Make sure the application audio capture is set up for Chrome properly. I'm okay. I missed you a lot. I can't lie. I'm sorry I haven't checked. I've so long. That's okay. That's okay. I'm sorry I haven't checked... Ecton Eva, like, communication is a 283. I should have reached out more, but I hope you're really doing well. I hope you're doing really, really well. Okay, um, it is, the trailer should be open and up. Are you seeing it, Leela? I'm opening it, I'm watching, yeah, okay. Okay, here's the vibe, because this is all we've got. Let me just see if anything we haven't... Wait, is that an arcade machine? It does look that way, yeah. That's it! That's it! It's that twenty. 